outside of my series but I thought it could be really helpful to a lot of you guys I actually get questions about this um, a lot on Instagram and I figured I would just make a video hopefully this can help out a lot of you guys and yeah if you have any further questions about this topic please comment down below I really want to help because I know how scary it is to start going to the gym at first and it literally changed my life once I kind of just stepped out of my comfort zone and went for it and and I just want anyone who wants to start getting into fitness or start working out I want them to feel comfortable about it yeah I just want to share this feeling with you guys so if you're nervous to work out or intimidated I really want to help you and make you feel better about the whole situation so I'm gonna do my best to kind of give my tips and tricks and hopefully you guys find this helpful and let's get started okay so first things first you kind of have to just accept the fact that you're doing something new you're doing something that you've never done before and it's going to feel uncomfortable no matter what no matter how much you prepare for it no matter how big of a pep talk you give yourself going in it's always gonna feel uncomfortable like that's just what it is when you start something or do something for the first time it's never comfortable and it's never an easy thing to do no matter how much you try to prepare for it um be okay with feeling uncomfortable for a few days you know what I mean like you just have to let go of that and I know it sucks to feel like you're not good at something or that you don't know what you're doing I know that's like not really a good feeling but you get past that and the only way that you're gonna get better is if you do it and you try so it's really really important that you just let go of feeling uncomfortable like just you have to accept that fact um because it is what it is. You're doing something you've never done before. You're doing something brand new. Like, you're going to feel uncomfortable and that's okay. That's how everyone felt starting out. Everyone starts out as a beginner. No one starts out as an expert. Any big fitness person that you look up to once was a beginner and had no clue what they were doing. That's how everyone starts out. That's what it is to be a beginner and to start. Like, it's not comfortable. It's awkward. But that's where everyone started out. So don't be so hard on yourself for not knowing everything because that's where everyone starts out. Everyone was in your shoes at one point in time. So don't be so hard on yourself. Just like try to remember that always. Um, the people who you look up to or you think that are like experts and pros, they were in the same spot that you were and look where they are now like you know what I mean everyone comes from being a beginner at first so that's something that you need to remember as well and just be really patient with yourself um you're not it's something that takes time and you're not going to know everything after one day or a week of going to the gym um I'm always learning every single day I learn new things about the gym or lifting or nutrition or anything like that like I'm always learning just be patient with yourself you're not going to know everything right off the bat so don't expect to and yeah just be patient and be willing to feel uncomfortable for a little while but I promise you it's worth it in the long run and it will pay off so so now a few things that I feel like kind of helped me when I'm in the gym not feel so uncomfortable um, one would be go with a friend if you have a friend who wants to work out or you know someone who you could go work out with go with a friend it really makes it a lot less uncomfortable for you um, so if you're not just by yourself kind of trying to figure things out going with a friend can be really comforting and also maybe if you could figure out the less busy times at your gym like don't go at 5 or 6 p.m. when literally everyone gets out of work and goes to the gym that's like the busy hour so go maybe at like a slower time so you don't feel like there's so many people around and you like feel a little more comfortable and then what I do is like I'll literally just put my headphones on put a hat on a hoodie like whatever and just like do your own thing like ignore everyone around you and not in like a mean way but just don't pay attention to what anyone else is doing don't even like think that they're looking at you you know what I mean like just be in your own world and do what you have to do and just don't care about anyone around you and like again I say I don't mean that in like a, a shitty way like don't be mean to people but just like ignore what's around you just do you be in your own zone it doesn't matter no one's looking at you 99% of the time 
is literally in your own head and you think you're doing something wrong so you think people are staring at you so then you feel uncomfortable and awkward and then like I promise you people aren't looking at other people I know I'm not really looking around to see what other people are doing and judging how they're doing something or what they're doing like I'm minding my own business I'm there to better myself I'm there to do my work and leave and I'm not paying attention to other people you know what I mean and again not in a mean way but I'm just minding my business I'm doing my own thing and that's what most people are in the gym to do so don't feel like people are gonna be staring at you or know that it's your first time and all that so I don't know, I just kind of stay in my own zone and I even do that now and I think people probably think I'm kind of like mean because I really zone out like I'm just in my own world at the gym but that's just how I am at the gym so I don't know but I find that kind of helpful when I was feeling uncomfortable and like I didn't know what I was doing and I kind of felt like new and uncomfortable to the whole thing I would kind of just be literally in my own world hat on like I can't really see around me not paying attention to anybody because that kind of helps me just like zone out anyone I don't see someone looking at me and then I think that they're judging me you know how it goes so Okay, so now I'm going to kind of go into some more tips on ways you can be prepared or you know, like have a plan because having a plan when you don't really know exactly how to work out yet or know how to go with the flow of things yet, which it kind of took me a while to get there too, but that's where I'm kind of at now is I can just kind of walk in and decide what I want to do like literally as I'm doing it. But it's really, really important to have a plan going in, and I'm going to go further into detail on how you can kind of create that plan. I've talked about this before, but something I find extremely helpful, and I actually think it's pretty necessary for newer lifters, or actually for everybody, if you don't really feel comfortable just like going into the gym and kind of doing something off the top of your head, just like whatever you feel like doing, it's really important to have a plan, and... I'm gonna kind of try to break it down into like steps that you take to create a plan for yourself if you're new or don't really know what I'm talking about um, I'm gonna get into it so the first thing you would want to do is to create a workout split so that would be the muscle groups that you're working for each day your split really is just like your preference um, I feel like there's no right or wrong split it's just whatever you want to do what works for you what works for your schedule what works for it's all relative to you so don't think there's any right or wrong way, just pick the muscle groups that you need to work. So say legs, shoulders, back, arms, chest, like whatever you want to do. If you want to split it up however you want, make sure you're hitting all of those muscle groups. And for each day of the week, figure out what you're going to do. I'm right now training five days, so I have a five day split. So that would be your first step would be to create your split. And then break it down to each day. So say for shoulders, um, you don't know what to do for shoulders. So Go on YouTube, type in shoulder workouts, and literally pick a bunch of exercises, write them all down, create your own workout. Like it doesn't, there's no like right or wrong workout. You you can create your own. You don't have to be an expert. I literally just create my own with whatever I feel like doing every single workout. Write them down. Um, if you don't know what exactly those workouts are, watch videos on them. Figure out how the movements work, how to do them. Take pictures on your phone so you can like reference them again. And literally, that's your plan. And then you go in and you just do it. And if you don't feel comfortable, maybe watch some other people around you. Start on cardio if you can and watch people and see what they're doing and see how machines work and all that stuff like just observe people and kind of see how they do the movements or how they do the machines and if you need help with something if you don't know how to, how to do something or you don't know the proper form or you feel like you're not doing it right literally ask for help ask someone around you and I'm sure 99% of the time they're gonna be willing to help or lead you in the direction of help you know what I mean no one's gonna be like you're a fucking loser you don't know how to do that like we're all in the gym to be better. No one's gonna be like seriously mean. And if they are, then fuck them. Like they're shitty anyways. So that has nothing to do with you. That has to do with them. So have a plan. Um, watch the watch videos prior to if you don't know how to do a movement. Watch tutorials on it. Figure it out. Go to the gym. Execute it. And now you know how to do all those workouts. And then the next day you do the same thing. And then guess what? You learn how to do all those workouts. And then you go the next day. And it's literally a cycle. I've learned so many workouts over time that like I didn't know how to do when I first started. 
and I just learned how to do them. Like there are exercises that I've still never done before and I'm, I'm gonna try them and I'm gonna be like, how the hell do I do this? Like watch a tutorial on it. You will always be learning and you will always be growing and no one knows how to do everything. So like just put yourself at ease a little bit and don't be so uptight and nervous because I just feel like you have to just try it and go for it and force yourself to do it one day. And I swear you're gonna be like, Okay, that wasn't as bad as I thought. And I'm sure people are gonna be nice to you at the gym and you're gonna realize that like people are just there to better themselves and to mind their own business and do them. That they're not gonna worry about you and what you're doing and if you're doing something that looks wrong and they're laughing. Like, no one's gonna laugh at you and if they laugh at you, seriously, fuck it. I would want nothing to do with that person anyway so if they don't approve of me or they're making fun of me or think I'm stupid, like, I don't really care what they think because I don't want their approval. They're, they seem like a shitty person anyways. And that's kind of how I go about it. Like, if someone's going to make fun of you, who the fuck cares? You don't need their approval. If they're going to make fun of some random person in the gym that they have no idea who this person is, they are not a good person and you don't... You don't want to associate with them anyway, so what does it matter what they think of you? You have to be confident in yourself and your abilities and just literally, like I said, make a plan and just go in there and do it. And the more that you do that and get out of your comfort zone and just go in and try something and try something new and do a new movement, you're going to feel comfortable and more comfortable every single time. Like I was still timid for so long and now I walk in totally comfortable. Like, that is my element now, and guess what? It never was before two years ago. Like, I only started two years ago, and like, I feel like I've learned so much in this time, but I still have so much to learn. I don't know, I just like, I hope this video helps you guys, because I want you to know that you should feel comfortable and excited and confident and happy to go work out and better yourself. There's literally nothing that I enjoy more than working out and I want to share that love. Like I want anyone who wants to work out, I want you to be able to do it and feel like you can do it because you literally can. Just a matter of being uncomfortable for a little while and learning and just being patient, but the love that I have for lifting and working out is something so like special to me that I want to share it with you guys. And like, if anyone needs help getting to the point that they want to get to, like, I want to help you guys because I know what it's like to feel nervous and uncomfortable and feel not confident in myself and my abilities to lift. And it's really life-changing once you like have that turning point where you realize like, that you can do it and you feel comfortable and confident and happy and excited to go work out because you know what you're doing now. I just hope this was helpful and if you guys have any questions, please comment them below. I'm like so willing to help you guys. I just wanted to make this video to kind of answer the very broad questions of like how to deal with intimidation or gym intimidation if you want to call it um, at the gym and just like feeling uncomfortable and not confident. So I hope that this helps. I kind of just like rambled on for a little while. I didn't really have much order or organization to that, but I just wanted to like get this out. Hopefully it helps some of you and please do me a favor and just be confident in yourself. I know it's scary, but literally you don't grow if you don't do things that are outside of your comfort zone and that scare you. Like that's where the growth happens. That's when your life starts changing. I just encourage everyone to go do it. Like step out of your comfort zone, do whatever it is that you want to do that scares you and just like, just let go and do it. It's so worth it, I'm telling you. It's so freaking worth it. And I'm just like so enthusiastic about fitness that I just wanna like share it with everyone. And anyone who wants to experience it, like I want you to experience it. So I wanna do anything I can to help whoever is struggling or needs help. So if you guys have any questions, please comment them below. And if you have any other video ideas that you think might be helpful for people, please comment them below as well. I'm totally down to do any type of video, so I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching and listening to me ramble. I hope this helped someone and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye guys.